Welcome everybody, I'm Bones, <coughs> you here, I'm still a little rough in the voice, um, at the end of my cold, finally, I've never in my entire life had a cold like this, um, with my siblings, uh, my sister is the best, she, like, just doesn't get sick, um, growing up, I rarely ever got sick, um, Yeah, like if I got the flu, you know, that would normally take people a week, it was gone within 24 hours, 48 hours tops. Pneumonia, same deal. Um, for some reason, this cold, I've been fighting now for two damn weeks. Two weeks! My people, and it finally has left. Anyways, hi, I'm Bones. Uh, welcome. Today we're going to do a game I'm excited to do, because I played one of the others in this series, 3089. And really dug it. This is 5089. This is one of those games where you can even make your own fun. Um, highly praised. It's one of those that picks gameplay over needing huge, flashy, 90,000 million sets of particles and huge camera uh, angles and all this other nonsense. Instead, uh, what I like about this designer, Fruit. Uh, he decided to go with the idea that, look, I'm going to make a great game. Uh, he used this sort of retro art style, and everybody's robots, and I love it. Um, and I think it works well. Now, this one I have not played, so we're flying him blind here, guys. So we're going to start a new game. There's a lot to do in his games, though. It's like you can pick up missions, pick up parts of other, uh, uh, other androids, you can or androids, robots, you can uh, upgrade your armor, you have different slots for your armor and stuff, you can learn new skills, it's it's giant. Um, I am aware of the guides above. Now, I did do a little preemptive reading of the guides yesterday. I didn't want to bother y'all with that. Uh, we can start off with something like a gunner, sword bot, ninja, pilot, leader, thief. Let's try to make our own. Why not? We're going to make our guy a Bones. <clears throat> now, I know that this is a huge war between... Yeah, see. I'm going to let y'all read this here. Now it's time to end this mock war. Apparently, I'm reading this to you. So, Zax can be used peacefully. Uh, structures are crumbling, but if we suppress the enemy and reclaim... Territories that should be salvageable. So, uh, apparently, my job here is to you view this map in any time with M. We'll inject you into the gold team base, which will be friendly. Violet is the fabricated enemy. First, you want to get a weapon. Brow browse over some buildings and pay attention to the nearby stations in the lower left. Weapons are what we want. Click on that building to inject above it. Alright, so, we're just using our mouse right now. So this has weapons, quests, armor, backup, workstation, health trader, consumables, chips, utilities, and building. Now, chips, if I remember right, are these little, like, boosts uh, you can learn. I don't know what utilities, I know what some of these are, right? Like, quests, and you want to grab a quest as soon as you can. And start making that uh, money. You want that money? Um, I don't really know what I look like. I'm trying to remember what the skill key is here. Um, so we're going to start. Just figure out the input config. Uh, left, right, forward, back, jump. Uh, eject. Items. Map. Uh, some of this stuff is, you know, stuff you would think. Quest. Q. Skills is P. Steel is R. When I got a, I got a hover word. Now the time rip. Uh, I want to say 3089 had this. I'm almost positive. Uh, and if not, maybe it's because I, I did watch a few YouTube videos to kind of figure out where I'm going in this a little. Because um, it, it's just a huge game, guys. Huge game. And this is not an expensive game. This game is under 10 bucks. Um, but you will notice the very... Uh, Alright. Skill points available. Click on the skill on the left to permanently apply 10% of your available skill points. Okay, so I have 12. Uh, stamina, defense, energy. 
I want to make them like a, a, you know. What are we doing here, guys? I feel like he should be a bit of a tank. You know what I mean? Energy increasing maximum energy capacity, so we want his HP a little higher. I'm going to do some work with him. He's going to be a double threat. Decent with guns and melee. Uh, prestige resource pr produces prices and enables followers. We want a bit of that. Programming. Better chip modification results. Consumers. Pilot unlocks and strengthens flying vehicles. Well, we definitely at least want some basic piloting skills. Uh, I feel like one thing that I really want to focus on here, though, on this guy, is definitely, uh, at least to the start, we're going to tank him up a little. Uh, I got a little money to start. It's all right. There we go. Now we're off to the races. Cue to get hints periodically, like activating backup stations to save your location. Run when not sneaking or aiming with left shift. We'll pull you in on conversation points shortly. One thing that I like about this one, first of all, is that they are tippy tippy tip tips. They, uh, they're, they're giving you... Whew. We'll have to go on. Now, the world may look a little unorthodox, but understand that you're basically getting a feel of a love letter to the 90s and uh, even maybe a little 80s sci-fi here. We'll provide you tools that convert violet bases into gold. We'll give you a set after each completed quest. Taking down surveyors and violet headquarters will also not conversion points, which will be needed to power stations. The old overlord's random quest still unlocks skill points to go in perhaps other events. A good place to start. Find a quest station with your weapon activated. And now, like I was saying, quests, right? You want quests. You gotta get your quests. And you get to pick them. Um, some quests you're going to like, some quests you're going to be confused by. And it's alright, baby, it's alright. Uh, armor, say hit E, you can take a look at your armor. Um, I would say before we get armor, we definitely at least need a weapon. Um, and we're going to take a quest too, because quests pay money. Protect, take for uh, a minute, eight after protecting, kill the leader, Ian. Now we're just going to shop some quests here. First, kill a gang of three robots. A few robots, kill a gang of three robots. Um, what do we get here? Skill point rewards, three. Credits per task. We're going to try that. We're going to be gangster on some robots. Um, I probably won't do great. Now, workstations, if I remember right, let me combine tinker with things. They're sort of your crafting stations. This is my backup. Always worth having a backup. Do that almost immediately. Um, that's advice from the other game. These are completed guns. These are pieces of guns. You can actually like swap out parts of guns, which I think is cool. Same thing with like swords, right? Like, see this? You like the handle. You get a blade. You got a sword. I do not know what's going out there, but I'm not going to lie. I'm slightly freaking out. Um, a wound blade. Melee damage. Your damage looks good. How, mu how much are Okay, you're not that much. That's a decent gun. That's not an energy weapon. Uh, now, if I remember right, energy weapons still... Still, I don't remember. Do they take my energy? I think they take my energy. Um, so I would rather get myself a pre-purchase gun if I can, like a like a uh, like an ammo gun. I'm gonna start with a sword, and I'll tell you why. See, so it's that easy. It's not that hard. Um, and these are my remaining credits. I would like to pick up some form of armor too. But I feel like between having, yeah, I really, uh, I could maybe make a gun. I got a pistol handle. And what do I need? That's an easy, easy. 
So we're looking around here, and again, this is one thing that I actually also really like. I like the uh, fact that I can kind of like commandeer all these different things and mess with them, you know. This is a pretty, pretty cheap rifle. I don't think we're going to find a better one right now. So that will give me a variety of weaponry. Um, just some ammo. And that's it. Let's, uh, let's see if I can please. I hit escape there, so you know. Telling y'all exactly what I'm doing, because I'm kind of relearning with y'all. It's been a long time since I played the other one. Um, I know there are some mods for this game, too, but don't quote me on what I do not know. Now, there are helmets that I cannot afford. So maybe I should have not effing put all my things in that basket, but I'll tell you what, I will deal with it for now. Um, again, these are helmets that you can decide what you want. See, like this one here, I like that it's got defense and agility. There's a nice one, if I can afford that one, I'm going with that one. Just look, stamina, defense, um, defense again, and some energy, and a little programming, which I have none of. Or I could go more like a beast here, this is probably one I'll pick, guys, with defense, uh, and agility. Um, what sorts of, what sorts of kicks do I want? Kicks. My legs. My little leggy legs. My robot legs. Again, defense. Well, that one helps guns. That'd be good. I really feel like defense and agility are what I need to be focusing on right now. Um, geez, oh, Pete, this one here is like the crown royal, isn't it? Got a little bit of, a little bit of everything. Um, now, you see what I mean, though, man. There's so much... Uh, there's so much variety. And we're literally right now just looking at armor. We haven't even really started the game yet. So that shows you how much there is to do. And when you walk outside, you can talk to friendly robots. Um, I was watching a video of this somebody did, and it's funny because they're robots talk in like that, that text-to-speech voice, so they talk like robots. <coughs> Sorry guys, I still got a little cold. However, I'm very happy to announce that I'm finally at the end of it. Uh, I've been drinking coffee today, and that if you haven't... Did you hear that? I apologize if you can't hear it well, because it is, uh... Unfortunately, I'm using a... The mic we use for Let's Plays is in my cam. Uh, I used to have a great mic, and I even had a DJ setup. I used to be a radio DJ for a while. So I have a mixer, uh, you know, $100 mic, all this stuff. Um, but I don't have a stand for... Oh, God. And I don't feel like I'm messing with that right now. Is that, is that messing my health up? No. Oh, Yahtzee. I got a, uh, see, I should have just looted this. Hopefully, maybe I'll get some, uh, good stuff there. Now, I think these are, these time rift things. What it is, is it gives you this cool matrixy ability. Um, when you time rip, time stops. You can do some ass whoopery, and then come back in. Okay, that is a turret, now I know. There's a bunch of shooty stuff going on over there. We're exploring the world, little baby. Uh, I want to say one thing I like is that I feel like this is certainly uh, his most realized vision. Uh, now this guy too, I've got a chance to speak with the dev and just say hi. Uh, his name is Fruit. Um, and he is actually quite polite. Um, very funny guy. Very nice to talk to. We were discussing some of his older games and... My love of said older games, and, uh, you know, just in general, but, uh, a nice developer, so... I'm not gonna give him any hate there either, because, uh, you know how many developers I have talked to that are, frankly, assholes? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that shit. I'm not freaked. Um, this guy's been great when it's come down to just, you know, talking, asking questions, for example. Um, and I did ask him, you know, look, and said, I'm gonna get to doing this game, is there anything I should know, is there anything that you feel 
I should be telling people? Uh, are there things that you would like explained more? And he, uh, you know, he said, well, you know, the main story's on the game, and you'll you'll know it. And he was correct. I, I knew it. Um, but he was very, very polite. Um, just an all-around decent, uh, decent fellow. So, um, and I like helping developers like that and talking to them because, let's be honest here, man. As a fellow gamer, y y at the end of the day, we all want good games, you know. But well, we got our first mission, guys. Got our first mission. We had a little weight on me here. No skill points available. But, it's alright, baby. Look at that. Oh, I definitely need to get my piloting up because I'm going to hijack that puppy. And one thing I read somewhere in the reviews that got me really excited about this. Because I feel like with 3089, I didn't even scratch the surface of what I could do. But somebody, and I think this is a great way of explaining it, is that... In this game, every time you think you're done doing everything, something happens where you realize, oh, I can do that? I didn't know I could do that. And I thought, that's, that's a pretty apt way of saying it, I think. Um, because that's how I felt about it. Okay, now they have some different helmets here. But I could at least buy a helmet. I have enough. Uh, a big question here. Okay, so the torso armor is the most expensive. Pants are still within my shopping district. Uh, I definitely feel like I want some... These are the pants I wanted, and I don't have enough. Okay. So we're going to start with a helmet at least, guys. Let's see what we can do. This one's defense and agility and more defense. This one's stamina, defense, defense, and energy. Uh, and programming, which I don't really need, but... Can I hold out for that other thing? Um, can I sell these? I can sell these. These are both incomplete. And that is incomplete. And that is a chip. That is a chip. Alright, now I think I need more parts to a chip. Can I just sell these anywhere? Okay, I can. Swell, oh. baby, swell. This is the helmet I wanted right here, dude. Look at that. Look at those. I feel like that's as good as it gets for helmets, and I love the color. So, uh, we're, we're, we're definitely going to be wearing that puppy to help me out. Um, I'm down credit-wise, but I'll work on that. Oh, look at this. Chippy, chippy chips. So, what do I do here? Chip program successfully. Can I use this? Nope. Only thing to be interesting is. So I need one of these puppies here. And then the way it works is I drag this into this. Uh, but you see these aren't too expensive, right? So these are the boards. Some of these boards seem to already have things on them. Like there's a gun. I always see what I want is a gun one. Oh, my schniz. Look at that one, guys. These are completed chips. I want that. So, the one I'm looking for, let's let's take a look here and see. Uh, that's an incomplete. That's one. It's not much. 230 something, I'll take it. Uh, not enough, people. Not enough, but I'm not getting rid of that shit. I need health. And I want to say somewhat consumables. Okay, health. Yes, please heal. Thank you, poor Favor. Alright. Now, the time ripping thing is great. I feel like I'm in a pretty good area here. Um, this says turrets. Let's go do another mission. Actually, let's shop. I just want to see for a minute what the consumables are. What do they do? So let's see what our options are here. Okay, so consumables like ammo supplies. Uh, oh, energy, energy. All right, so this boosts your energy in case you need it. And I feel like energy is for weapons and stuff. 
Uh, it's not my health, so now I know that. I thought it was my health, but it is not. Um, okay, so what else we got here? We got health, so these uh, seem to be almost like potions, if you will, guys. Let me try these puppies. Uh, a little out of my league, baby. Right now I'm trying to get my guy armored. So at least, if anything, I don't uh, pump the bunk here. Let's get downstairs again, if I could. <coughs> God. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't mean to call. Look, lesser let's players wouldn't even bother doing one of these. But I'm doing one. Uh, check Kate. Still not there yet. Dismantle a robot. Poor uh, robots is a bit much. That that's some mission impossible shit. Like, let me give you an example here. First, chase and capture a rogue probe. That caught, kill Ava. Now destroyed, get and combine parts of an artifact with the workstation. Put together, give the artifact to Victoria. Okay, I'm in shelter, meter shower, six up to shelter media. Uh, first, kill a gang of three robots. With fewer robots, escort Mila safely to a specific area. That moved, kill Kylie. First, plant a bug on Madison. Once planted, talk with Lily. And after talking, get and combine parts of an artifact at the workstation. Put together, uh, man. Now, again, these are tough things. We're gonna accept this quest. First, protect Kate for blah blah blah. After protecting, kill the leader, Ian. Just to get these out of the way, man. I need the money. Uh, we're going to wait until this friggin' video is done. Oh, one thing I do like, though, is these colors are great. Um, look at that. So there actually is, like, procedural weather, all sorts of this stuff. Uh, this really is an interesting game, and it's so very well done that it's remarkable. Um... Is that it? Okay. Uh, I am really enjoying this. Uh, I'm glad this was something that we have picked up. Fruit does not disappoint, and he is not disappointed this time either. Uh, as usual, Fruit manages to live up to the expectations. Uh, and as you know, guys. Uh, he is working on a new game, too, so be sure to uh, click uh, the link below after watching this. Click it immediately. Do not be disappointed. And you can have a chance to win his new game. Yes, it's true. Uh, I'm not going to speak too much about that yet, just because I'm trying to keep the focus on this one. Uh, down the road, I look forward to doing a Let's Play of his new game. Uh, because I love this guy's imagination, man. This reminds me a lot of 80s stuff. Um, I mean, let's be honest. The 80s were a crazy time. Part of it was the advent of Dungeons and & Dragons and things like that. You know, you had all these people, for example, who were obsessed with Dungeons & Dragons, uh, the Lord of the Rings movie came out. So that was a thing, you know? Well, the escorting part wasn't too bad on this one, although it was set to, like, a lower difficulty, I'd assume. I don't like that that looks like a big-ass ship carrying an enemy. That's probably not great. This looks like some sort of little ghetto-ass uh, area here. Uh, don't tell me that's Ian floating wildly in that ship. Oh, of course it friggin' is. Alright, so we're gonna have to pull out the gun. Ah! Motherland! For Zax, baby. For Zax. You die now. Oh, how'd you like that, Ian? Little razzle-dazzle, baby. 
Your mother was a toaster. I don't really know if his mother was a toaster, but it sounded offensive, right? Oh, uh, he is. Ian, you hit like you looked. I don't even know what kind of insult that was. Oh god, no, what happened? Okay, I, I survived, I survived it. I'm a robot. Why wouldn't I survive a fall? Did I lose Ian? I hope I didn't lose Ian. Uh, how do I get back up again? Is it H? No hoverboard found a toggle. Let's pretend I have a hoverboard. How about that? I don't think Ian's keen to pretend. I am certainly not in Kansas anymore. This is definitely like a bad land to be in here. Um, but I do see a vehicle. Can I grab it? I can't grab it. So the Oh, God. What in the hell are you? Help! That's an ant. A robot ant. One could say it's a rant. Alright. Uh, there's Ian. I must have knocked you out, sucker. That's Layla. What the f*** is Ian? Layla, go get Ian. My fight's not with you, woman. Also, Layla's a bitch. Can I make die from Layla? Let's try this again. Getting better with the old shooty wooty. Little pew pew. This reminds me slightly of this board game that we play called uh, Flick 'em Up. If you haven't tried it, a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of people play this cowboy game called Bang. Flick 'em Up is like wooden characters. Anyways, enough of that. Let's keep the game on the game, shall we? Um, so, as you can see, this is a very challenging game with a very uh, vibrant home. A lot going on in it, man. A lot going on. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm doing better than I thought I would. There he is, that little... Ian has Ly Layla doing his, doing his bitch work. Come on, baby. Don't play with me like that. Oh! How you like Layla now? You don't, because she's dead. Who the hell is this on the ground here? This little arm effort. He's dead. That's who he is. Get over here. That's a Pee Wee Herman looking son of a bitch. Don't get me wrong. Pee Wee Herman was a shit back in the day. And if you don't believe me, then you clearly did not grow up in the 80s like I did. Well, no, the 80s was a weird place, man. You know, we had... Uh, the best of fantasy, in a way. You had even the games. Look at the games. You had Dragon's Lair, which changed the whole arcade game, because no other game was like that. You could play all these games, and they looked great. You had Pac-Man and all this. But then the Dragon's Lair came along, and you had hand-drawn art. Moving art. Not pixels. You had art. Done by, uh, who's that great, great animator? Bluth, I believe. Don Bluth. Gorgeous job you did. I'm so gonna get my ass handed to me. Uh, so Ian is apparently some sort of uber beast, and I cannot kill him. I'm trying, but he's regenerating faster than I can kill him. I did not know this. Well, no shit. Uh, so I lost a part. But you know, I'm not really that bummed. I'm a little bummed, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not that bummed. Uh... I feel like I, I wish they would have given me a little more chance. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this is dead. Yeah, how much is ammo? That chip's gotta go, and I have got to get healed. Now we're gonna pick a different mission that's not related to Ian. Jeez, oh, Pete's. I'm so brutal, I feel like I need to call a doctor for a friggin' assault charge. Because of what he did to me. What he did to my hiney, my backside. He kicked it. First, protect zone. I'm not doing any of that shit. I don't trust y'all. Dismantle my ass. That robot was fine. First, protect Tyler after talking. Now, see, this one sounds alright. We talk with Maria. So let's let's use some chatterboxing, shall we? 
First of all, we're gonna get out the old Conan sword. Conan! Oh god. Uh, so there's my cue, my quest. Uh, I will say once you kind of get into this game, it's a, a lot easier to understand what you're doing. And I like that these robots... <laughs> this is some pretty funny stuff. I'm sorry if you can't hear it, guys. Um, but I am uh, trying to make sure you can at least hear me. This game is frequently on sale. Um, but I would... I would this is a definite recommend for me. Uh, let's be honest, man. We all get burnt out of first-person shooters nowadays. You know, you get burnt out of all that. It's nice to play a game. Did you die? Jesus. I just got hit straight up by lightning. That was bad. Oh, run somewhere, son. You're killing me. This sucks as far as missions go. Wish no one had done this one. That's alright, I only got seven seconds of protecting little Johnny come lately. And then uh does my health ever regenerate? Alright, I don't I don't know, but I I'm hoping so. <clears throat> uh is there a permanent upgrade to regenerate my health? Is that like a chip? If not, just uh just a feature request I would like to put in here myself. I think that'd be groovy. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it is a little hard to to get your bearings and get a start here. But, at the same time, I do very much like the game. Uh, it's been a long war here. All for the good cause. Too many. All right. The Corvala area is surrounded by large walls. Okay, well, I'm not ready for a boss challenge. But we are certainly feeling good and froggy right now. So I got a few points. Uh, well, we saw what having a pilot to do, right? So let's pop a pilot in that. Um, I feel like that's not a bad idea. Swords and guns are horrible. Uh, not them, my skill level. But, at least now, I am not alone and I can actually go and grab some stuff over here. So what do we have? We got these two that are held. Converting things. Right click inside a violet place. Base uh, section clear of enemies. Rewards convert points. Must be the next one. Already converted section. So basically, I can take a base and make it ours and make them our bitch. Vivalo resistance. So I dig it, I dig it. One thing I like about these swords too, right, is see here, you're buying the blade, you're buying the handle. Um, now I do know for a fact, if you do them like this instead of just a pre-purchase, um, quite often you can come up with some great combination stuff. Uh, I even know that you can sort of figgity finagle some of your stuff into some great weapons. Uh, one thing here that we're going to do now... Let's have a quick look around the area. We're going to explore a little. See if we can grab some free swag. Uh, also, I am not playing with that one dude right now. If an enemy flies, then I dies. Uh, as I learn, I'm not quite ready for that. The time ripping I keep forgetting I have. But in the next big combat, I'm going to show that off here. Uh, now, I'm actually doing this Let's Play very early in the day. We have a long day today, so I wanted to get this out. I do apologize for not doing one Valentine's Day, but it's Valentine's Day, and uh, I have a fiancé, so... That time had to go toward her. Uh, like any good boyfriend that was... well, any good fiancé, I suppose. Uh, that was kind of obligatory, guys, so... 
if you're spending your whole day playing video games instead of at least doting on your loved one a bit on Valentine's Day, get off the video game, for God's sakes. If you're like, oh, I want to, but I ain't got the money, I'm going to hook you up here. Listen up. This is for all of you out there. Guy, girl, transgender, I don't care what you are. This is how you do it. Nice and easy, right? It's free to ask somebody how their day is if you're in love. It's free to ask your boyfriend and girlfriend, whoever, whatever you're dating, your tech ch chapter, I don't care, how their day is. Um, just put a little effort into it, man. Listen, be there. Communication really is the key. You know, I've been with the same person now four years. We haven't had a single argument because it never gets to that point. We communicate first. And we keep it honest. If somebody's really effed up, they're really, you know, out of it, they've done something wrong, we call each other on it and we talk about it. We don't go, oh, well, you did this and that's it. You don't give somebody ultimatums either. Anyways, those are my lube tips for you. Now, oh, I got part of an easy, guys. Now we're playing with power. Uh, I don't really feel like I'm an Uzi guy, so we're going to go ahead and sell that. I'm probably going to sell any any salvage I get right now. And my reason is simple. I want more armor. More armor means better me. Therefore, every piece of scrap I can scrap, I'm going to scrap. Um, anyways, I have it down a little. With the music soundtrack to this is thumping. It's nice. It's got a kind of like synth, you know, like synth pop feel to it. Um, definitely a great like 90s vibe. If you're one of those quick people, one of those, here's an old one for you all. This is even for the dev, I'm curious. Dev, you have to let me know if you remember this. Spectre VR. See, what used to happen here, guys, is... Oh, speech is this polygonal... <coughs> These sort of polygonal games became huge. See, I just don't trust that. Whenever they're like, kill the leader. First, plant a bug on Mason. Once planted, protect Grayson. I'll try it. Like, every, every bit, man. Every bit helps, right? And right now, I'm a squirrel trying to catch a proverbial nut. Maybe that wasn't the best way to put it, but you know what I mean. We're also going to try to gank this little vehicle here. That's a 90s word, gank. We wouldn't say gank anymore. I don't know. Put it in the comments, folks. Put it in the comments. Do they say gank? Am I just being a total dork, or is that a real word now? I, don't, I really don't know. Uh, now, I don't know if I need to hit Q, like the pickpocket command, or if I can just flat out hit E to talk to him. E is like talk slash interact, if I remember in this game, so... See ya. Okay. Did it. My health took a little hit, but what I'm really trying to do here, guys, <laughs> I made a washing machine choke. Um, no, but I mean, one thing I like about this game is it's a weird charm, you know? I mean, you even look at this. It has absurdist kind of humor. Oh, who is shooting at him? Buddy, I got you. <sighs> you 
effing me, Twitch? Are you effing kidding me? You got another sea of hell here with shark bats and shit. I really thought I had this on lockdown, guys. I'm not gonna lie, but it's not happening. No! I lost my visor for my effing helmet. <sighs> oh, okay. Ten more armor. Ten more complete armor via crates or purchasing. Mew, we're not doing great. So we're gonna sell this part. Let's see if I can buy another part here. Did I actually get any more points? No. I need more points. You gotta go straight, straight into uh, the armor. So I can get this. Well, that's about it right now. I'm a little bummed, guys. I'm not gonna lie here. Uh, what's this? Oh, no, eight. So now I go to the workshop with our number, and I can combine items. That's what I will do here, right? Ta-da! Uh, Right-click and wiggle parts and special items to the color. Yeah, I did that. I think we're going to be a... Let's do a gold and blue robot, guys. What do you think? How about orange and blue, huh? Oh, that's nice. Yes! Gold and blue, baby. Choo-choo, motherfucker! Alright. Something wrong with me. Don't... Don't agree with that. There probably is. I can lie. So I'm down to credits a lot. Uh, I'm not killing Henry. Henry's a fucking beast. I feel like killing a gang of four robots is easier. So I want to start with that. And I'll tell you why it's easier. For one thing, we're starting with this puppy here. And then when I get my reward, I'm going to pump uh, some skills into weapons. I need skills and weapons. Now look, I don't care which weapons, but I need them in weapons. I'm gonna start with melee. Just because for one thing, it saves a lot of ammo. Two, I wanna be that beast who's just mowing folks down. Um, there are lots of ways to play this game though, it's easy, you know? You can be kind of what you wanna be. We're doing a quick time check here as I look up. Okay. Uh, so, so far it is 10.02 today for me. Um, but no, uh, what are some things, by the way, uh, that led me to want to do this? <laughs> Man, now that code's doing everything. Oh, my hat, my hat, by the way, guys. Uh, in case you don't know, I am obviously a lion, er, Lions, a Detroit Tigers fan. And so I organize him, or organize him, I take him somewhere. We're gonna go take my ass over here and grab this loot real quick if I can. We see the bad guys, I'm just gonna ninja turtle the shit out of them. Um, but no, uh, Detroit Tigers. As we said before, we're Detroit based proudly. Um, and I've had some jokes, you know, oh, are you proud of being in Detroit? It's, it's horrible. Look, Detroit isn't without its flaws, but like any city, it's also got its charm. Uh, 
everybody in Michigan pretty much identifies with saying, oh, I'm from Detroit. I have lived in Detroit, but I've also lived outside of Detroit. Currently, I'm not currently living in Detroit. I have, though. Um, I have lived quite a few places around the uh, metro Detroit area. Um, I have lived out of state for a while. I lived, uh, you know, um, I spent time in Kentucky, spent time overseas, um, and various places. Um, but I can actually just say, out of all of it, I feel very fortunate to have gotten to explore the things I have. One piece of advice I'll give you younger folks that watch this channel is get your passport. Even if you think you're never going to need it, get it. Every American should have a passport, and if you're not American, and you're from another country, you probably already have your passport, because you guys are a lot more progressive than we are here for that. Uh, our orange overlord makes sure of that. But, let me just say, no matter what you believe, uh, I do, my hope for you all is that you get to experience, uh, you know, just the fun of travel, man. The joy of getting out there and getting to travel. It's a lot of fun. So don't knock it, uh, as the old adage goes, until you try it. Because you will be pleasantly surprised. Uh, even if it's just, you know, like, say you're younger, you live with your parents, hey, ma, dad, whoever. Uh, hey, is it cool if we go here? I've always wanted to go here. Pick a, pick a place, man. Go. Go, get it. Get out there. Get. Get. Get out there. Get it. Um, but no, you know, I mean, I, there's no reason not to go. That's what I'm saying to y'all. So, uh... Yeah, we're gonna sell this. It's like, get me up to... Give me a eh, defense and stealth. Radiation protection is good too. Stamina defense would be great. Defense and consumables. Consumables. Like Ricky from Trailer Park Codes today, fellas. Fellas and lady. Well, one thing we're going to do right off the bat is put this puppy together, shall we? get that cool gold color there that I had. Let's get that blue. Boom. So now you see the value of these pieces. They're quite good. And now we got some enemies coming up here. The Mo Duke boys. No I'm kidding. I um I'm trying <laughs> couldn't help you guys to know it. I'm trying here. Can I heal before I kill them? I'm gonna try it. Right. Let's try to heal. Yes. Two down. Two down, guys. Bang, bang, bitches. Bang, bang. Uh, ooh, look at this. The decoy, all sorts of fun little. Oh, baby, I don't know what any of that is, but. Uh -huh. um, I'm alright with these so far. Got me a lot of, a lot of good muscle there. They dropped some money, so we're gonna go ahead and heal a second time while I'm here, because why not? So, this is how you do it, guys. Now we're going to drop out here, and I'm actually going to use some of my time at Vortex. No watch. Boom. Now when that time Vortex completes... Oh, where is he? He's gone. Now this time, I got one of my own homies helping me out, so that's good. So yes, yeah, so that's how you do it. This is, uh, that's how you do it. So, slowly you can see, even though I've had some setbacks, I'm starting to get better. My idea here is, you know, you keep increasing, 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 increasing until you just get better with it, you know? Um, and I'm slowly working on that stuff. 
I figure this sword's been good to me. It's my little trusty blade for now. Eventually, I'll probably throw it away and get a better one. Uh, we're going to go up here in this center and see what I can do. I actually don't even know how long I'm going to play in this, but uh, you know what? I'm having a good time, so I'm going to play this a little longer. If this ends up being a very long Let's Play, it does, man. Like I said before, I am a huge fan of this creator. Um, I just feel like he does a lot with imagination. He does a lot with making you want to. What is my sword actually good at? Programming cooldown, shield damage, reflect shots. So it's a bit like a lightsaber. Got some good stamina, melee damage. Now what do you guys carry? Self corrosion, cooldown, shield damage. Uh, stamina defense, cooldown, shield damage, reflect shots. So I am going to get rid of this one. Where are my leggings? <coughs> I got some prestige, and some leggies. Uh, I do know if I do enough of this, I get people who will follow me, which is also great. I'm also going to keep this up here. Well, food for thought, why don't we take a look at the weapons before I do another quest and see. Uh, but no, I mean, you see how easy this game is to get into. It can look overwhelming, yes. I'll say that as well. Uh, what's my melee damage? 6.2. So the blade, this blade's got a little more. 6.2, uh, 6.6. The less stamina. I don't like that. The only blade option right now. Daggers, daggers. Daggers, daggers, daggers. You know, for now, I'm going to be content to keep this one sword. I don't know, man. Do I sell that? I could sell that. I'm gonna sell that for now. For better, for worse. And use it to go get me better pants. I feel like the better armored I am, the less ass popery I'm going to entail. Uh, now, the creator is probably chuckling at me, because, well, one, I'm talking to myself, and then two, I'm talking to myself. Uh, but no, genuinely, uh, I, I gotta say, man, this guy has done some amazing, amazing shit with this game. Um, those I can't sell. Get some of my gun. In exchange for armor, but I don't want to. At times I need my pew pew. So what we're gonna do instead, I'm gonna pick up one more mission that'll get me my guns. I'm not going after Henry, because he is a jerk. <sighs> Three robots aren't a problem with my pro. Mila can be an issue. That's three robots, three robots. First protect Lauren after protecting Pink Divine Parts. Let's do one of these because I don't know what the hell this is. I don't quite follow exactly what I'm doing. So let's learn it, guys. Together! So I'm protecting somebody. After I protect them, I get these parts. I gotta run to a workstation, slap this shit together, take it somewhere else. Somewhere along the way, I kill something, and uh, I get the paid, baby. I get the money monies. Whoa, hold on. Hold on. Did I just get a full chip? Son of a bitch. No, I did not. Uh, look. Before I start. I think if I sell this, I got enough for my pants, so we're going to be wearing my pants for this. Um, we don't want those pants because I want them. Um, another quick question for anybody who knows, but does your energy uh, come back? Uh, Dev, if you watch us, just let me know. I'm curious. 
I can get any of the pants I want. Yeah, I know. This is the, these are the pants I want though, right here. So we are going to go to the workstation so I can recolor them. I am stickler for that right now. And I think it's a very cool feature, and I am a little obsessed with it, I'm not going to lie. There, so. I think I'm trying to get this exact yellow, and it's not working. That's definitely the right blue, though. I feel like on this one I didn't do it well with this. Like this one here, I didn't get the right. It's more of a. I mean, realistically, that's that's the best one. But I think no, I think that's about it, right? What do you guys think? Is that is that right? All three of those. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. I feel like I'm over encumbered a little now, but uh, hey, baby. We do what we gotta do. Oh, that dude was still following me. Oh my dork. No, 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 get over here. Actually, I wonder if he'll fight for me, because if so, that's... You hear that? He got sassy, he said, leave me alone. So prestige means I can talk to some of these robots and they'll follow. I don't know who I can get. As far as procedure goes. Well, we are going to pick up and restock here. Meats. Make sure my time ripping ability is up at the top. Because, as you saw, it's quite useful. So I'm going to run away real quick from my target to see if I can woo or influence any of these lesser robot peons, and then we are going to go back. Oh um, no, you know, I mean, I'm having a good time. It's a very interesting world. He's a little sassy with me there. Um, I some things I really love about this are that it's not like any other game, man. You know, it's it's as fast paced or slow paced as you want to be. You all know if you watch my let's plays, I love to explore. Believe me when I say, on my own, I'll be exploring the hell out of this game. Um, there's dynamic weather, uh, which is a great add-on to it. Oh, God, that hurt really bad. Okay, we're going to go inside right now. There's very missions, which I dig. Not all the missions are the same. Um, they're very random. Uh, on top of it, I do like, if I can keep my ass from getting handed to me here. Yes. Let's take a look actually and see what else I got. What do I need to save up for now? What would I like? I would love something that's I feel is more like for the warrior, more for the mercenary, you know? Um is there any separate parts? I don't know. These are blank chips. Uh, now, I, I believe that depends on my programming ability. We're going to check that programming ability because I don't know. And my programming's not horrible, but it's not great by any means. Um, what we want to do here is I want to get this. See these little numbers here? Now, just think at the start of this Let's Play, these two were one. So, you know, I mean, at a reasonable time, we've done well, we've clunked along, but it's not where I want it to be. So we're, so we're doing that. That's what we're doing right now. I'm actually waiting for the thunderstorm to pass, because I don't feel like having lightning strike me in the buttocks. Um, I do get why it does so much damage, though, because I'm a robot. Oh, yeah. Um, I kind of dig the little schlockiness of not being able to see my arm, though. That really reminds me of, like, old 90s games. Uh, I, now, while I grew up in the 80s, which I talk about way too much, I know, and I'm sorry, guys, it probably gets friggin' annoying. Um, I really do 
like these games. Uh, I feel like uh, I got a oh, see, you now there's a scope. So I can buy a scope and pop it on there too in the workshop and really go to town on this gun. Um, so there's different things here, guys, that like you can still mod. I think this will fit on my gun. A scope. See, it says level one rifle right complete. Um, but I think I could still buy that and put it on there. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong. A dev, let me know because I don't want to be giving out bad information. Uh, now this uh, dev is very active, so uh, I have no doubt he will probably give this a little whoopsie and let me know what I said right and wrong. Apologies in advance if I gave any bad information. Um, but no, I like this game too because it's its own world. It's something new. You know, um, I never played CS, whatever, whatever, 6000, CS Go, CS, CS, CS. And I'll tell you why. Is it's just, it, it just all got to be uh, mediocre. It got to be the same. Um, what got me into Bethesda games, for example, like Morrowind and all that, was just those were something different. Um, I started with the original, by the way. I was OG. Um, and then from the OG, I went into, what the fudge? Okay, so, the purple ships of doom are bad. Good to know. Speaking of pur purple ships of doom, I'm gonna be protecting somebody I need. Oh, shit. Yup, not doing it. Y'all enjoy your meteors of death. I am the F out of here. Whether it's a great equalizer, folks. Whether it's a great equalizer. Apparently, I did want to ask. Yeah, how y'all liking that out there? Shooting at me. Jerks. Hit that ship, man. Hit that ship. Robot uh, overlords in heaven of the mighty toaster brigade. Save me. Oh, Lord. The dumb jokes I tell. They never get better, guys. Sorry. <laughs> but they don't. Whatever. Um. Ooh. I don't like the pistol as much as I like that. Now, see, this is what I needed. Decent blades. That's time I to get that great hand. I want to hold on to that hand for next time, man. Uh, and again, let's see. Oh, see, I got that handle still. So what are the blades I'm working, looking at here? I only got 90 credits, but... Maybe I can figure something out here. Um, I don't want to damage air piloting. How do these have the melee damage I want? Although one helps the melee. Not finding the blades I want so far, guys. I don't need that for stealth, so we're gonna at least dump that up a little. Alright, now let's go to part two of what I'm supposed to be doing. First up, we're gonna loot these. Because you never know, man. You never know. I'm all about the looting, man. All about the looting. Free stuff everywhere, you gotta grab it. Um, I would like to say, for I think a lot of people, want another great selling point of this game is that you can run it. Um, I've heard somebody say once they can run this game, but uh, after changing their, their lighting settings a little, they ran it uh, 60 frames per second, no problem. Um, the genius of this game is there's tons going on. And I'm just going to call it out, alright? With a bigger engine from some of these big name companies, Bethesda, I'm looking at you, Fallout 4 was a coding mess with maps. Here you have a guy, puts a lot of love and work into what he does, and lo and behold, he gets shit done, man. It works. To quote Todd Howard, it just works. Only his? His just works. 
It, it actually just works. So yeah. Alright, now let's find a workshop here and combine the items, guys. Uh, but no, I mean, I, I, I've known... I've heard stories of Mr. Howard, who is a somewhat... Uh, it's not that he lies. He's just excited, you know, like a teenager. So sometimes the things that are coming out of his mouth uh, may or may not be not 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 the truest, but just you, you gotta work some stuff out. Guys. Maybe they have a workshop in here. We're gonna try it. So let's do that. It's like my target is also in here. We'll see. I do feel like when I get my prestige up and I can get some uh, cronies to follow me, I'll be I'll be in a good spot here. You know what I mean? Oh, come here, baby. Who the hell's Claire Alexander then? Wasn't Claire just the bee's knees? Bones the robot needs his own followers. Claire can wait. Claire hogging all the hunters, you know? <coughs> oh. Sorry, guys. Man, that's brutal. Oh, oh, got some new fans, too, right? Alright, so let's combine this, baby. Oh, yeah. Um, stamina and defense. What is this? Yeah, I don't want that. The daggers are probably going. As much as I, I think they're adorable, I, uh, I don't want the daggers. And the pants are going. So we're also going to sell these real quick. But before we sell these, let's go ahead and make sure that we are all healthed up here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now we are going to go and sell the dagger, sell the punts, sell the dagger. We're still keeping that cool little lightsaber thing there, because that's actually not a bad thing, is it? Um, now, Q. I am uh, gonna together. I get. I need to spy and Gavin a bit, and we have a special guest. On the show today, guys. Do you see who it is? It's Mutant Dog. Hi, Mutant Dog. Welcome. Now, this is true, guys. This is true. Uh, Mutant Dog's real name, I've always said, do you know what it is? Well, today I'm going to tell you what it is. This is true. His name is Little Boy. It was kind of a joke. You see, because he's not little. He's a big dude. Um, and we just thought it was slightly funny. But it took on a life of its own when people found him adorably ch charming. The problem is, this dog is like Cujo. He don't play. Uh, and if you get in his way, you're going to know it. He, he gets brutal. So he himself was not at all pleased by this. Um... So, yeah, he, he's been a little, you know, he's not been the kindest with people, is what I'm trying to say, guys. Um, quite honestly, he has been, whoa, rough. Get it, rough, dog uh, joke. Oh, come on, it was good. Um, but no, let's talk real a minute here. So, he's been doing that. Now, I can hit Q at any time, get my mission, kiss it, get lost, which you do sometimes in this game. Uh, Alright, so tagline delivery, put together, spy on uh, Gavin for 31 seconds. Now, I don't know what this means. Can I check this? Alright, so... This must mean these two requirements have been... Oh, target cannot be killed. Put it right there, jeez. Target cannot 
attack, detect you. So, to make sure they can't attack and detect me, we're going to check and see how I get sneaky peeky again. Stealth is left click. Okay. Um, so when I get near this target, I need to stealth it. It would still be great if I could get one member of the Apple Dumpling Gang over here. He sends the bitches to get... Look at this thing. Can I have the potato robot? Ah, fucking Emma Kelly. I don't care. Emma Kelly, you're a jerk. So clearly I need more prestige. Okay. Uh, the unsung hero in this game, I get the feeling, is gonna end up being prestige. Even more than piloting, I just feel like that's gonna be the one, so... When we get up here, guys, when we get up here, what we need to do, because I think our target's on the move, repeat, we have a target on the move, is we are going to do the stealth. I don't know how close I have to be in order for this to be considered an active thing. I don't know if they're actually in here or not, though. They would appear to be, wouldn't they? We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Alright, they're in. We're going in, guys. We're going in. If I had a hammer in the morning, hammer in the evening, if I had a hammer, a little long day. And I don't know why I'm singing. Cause my joke isn't any funnier. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's see are too young to even remember what that was. Leonard Nimoy, man. Leonard Nimoy. Spock himself sang this horrible song called If I Had a Hammer. I swear I'm not making it up. And it is as weird as it sounds. Um, I don't know where that hoop this dude is. How do I find him? I don't, I don't know where he is. I really don't know where he is. Is worried my stealth ran out, but I guess it doesn't. But I still don't want to get too close to him. Where is he? How do I get to him? There's like no... No thing here. So is there anything I do that messes with this? It's like he is stuck in this, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know how. The robot algorithms seem to not get stuck in walls, so what, what happened here? And I really don't want to have to nix this mission because I've been killing it just for one effing bug. Every game has bugs, let's be honest. Uh, I've never seen a bug in this game, though. So I'm figuring maybe I'm just not seeing the thing I should be seeing right now. I'm gonna try to talk to all these little punks. So that's the Emma Kelly game. So what am I gonna do with this game? I don't know. There's a lone robot. Let's see if I can get him to do this for me. <clears throat> Come here, Cracker. I messed up again. Prestige. It's 2.2. I need it to be 2.7 to get the basic grunts around here to even respect me. So while I'm waiting on my quarry, I might as well salvage some and see if I can pick up a henchman. I don't know if you heard that one, but that may be one of my 
favorite lines ever. He just said, no way, traveling you, you is a death wish. Thanks for the co uh, the uh, vote of confidence there, sweetheart. That's nice. We're going to try to do two things at once. I don't know if this will let me walk through walls, but we're going to try it. No, we're not. And that was to use my time rip ability. So is there an ability? He's in there. I'm going to see him. Now, there is one other thing here. Report unreachable target. Okay. So now we're going to see what, where this takes me, because I really don't know. I think what happened is, by doing that, the game bumped him somewhere else. And if it did, then man is that a feature I wish more big games had. Because I think that's genius. You know, you're actually taking a player's uh, concern at like literally on the fly, live, and adapting the game. Uh, again, I'm just got to praise the wide variety of things you can do in this game. Not to mention the exuberantly well done um, world. It's just big. It's a very big world, you know, and there's stuff going on all the time, and it feels alive. It feels good. It feels like a real place that I should be, you know, messing with, worried about. And I think we have our quarry, ladies and gentlemen. Let's stalk this little sucker, shall we? Careful though, I don't want him to see me. He's getting his ass kicked, so that's even better. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's right, baby. You just, uh, you do that. Alright, now I can't kill him. So now, what is my last one? Give the artifact to Leo. Let's get our ass moving to Leo. So see, actually that one was not too bad. A little secret agent -y. I know you get all you want. Okay guys, much on note, we need to up our prestige. Next time I get skill points, I'll prestige. Um, which is, I'm not going to lie, I think with some extra muscle, some of those like, go here, kill this dude, all that, easier. But when I get good with Prestige, then we can start claiming some enemy bases. I know that's one big point in the game, is dominating the enemy bases. And, uh, Dev, let me know if I'm right there, but is that the sort of building that I, I do get players? If you play this game, drop me comments down below, just some tips even. You know, you want to talk about stuff, stuff you liked in this Let's Play, stuff I should have mentioned and didn't, stuff that uh, I don't even know about doing. What are your tips and trips? Tip, tips and trips. What are your tips and tricks in this game that you rely on heavily? Stuff that you guys are like, man, I don't know why he's not doing this. I always do this. Uh, I don't care what the is is, but I am not dumb enough to think that I know everything. You know, one thing that I love about YouTube that has grown people and gamers is that I'm always hearing great ideas and things. Even like my Steam list, man. All you guys are awesome. And they've talked to me uh, so much just about like, oh, you could do this, you could do that. So I learn things, and I think that's great because I need to learn that shiz. There's some serious ass whooping going on there. Oh uh, boy. What do I do, guys? What do I do? I'm gonna up my stealth just a little. Be a little more sneaky beaky. What's up, baby? One of your, one of your asses is following me. Oh, give it up. I need to find myself a little crony. Um, got my time right up. Let's take a look at my inventory, shall we? 
So we've got a bunch of these conversion kits, and I know it does some great things for you if you can get your conversion on. But before I get my conversion on, I want a henchman. Great. So we got a henchman. It's time to head into enemy territory, which means we'll be beyond this horribly gloomy black abyss. It's war time, son. War time, all the guns and the fights and the pew pews matter. Boy, I tell you what, Bobby. Don't sue me, YouTube. It's a simple hand kill impression. Get over it. Uh, no. Oh, shit. Well, we're going here whether I wanted to or not. I was trying to feel this out because I think this is a convertible base. Uh, I don't know. They have told me, but I'm horrible with remembering. So, here's what I'm going to do here. Must be in violet territory. Alright, so I'm not in violet territory, so I know that now. And I do apologize to the dev. I'm sure he explained it well. Yours truly is just ridiculously horrible with remembering things. Uh, so please forgive me, Dev. Now what I'm looking for here, guys, is one of those... Uh, Alright. What do I got here? Yeah. The reflect shots is good. I think this reflect shots is better. No, it's not. <clears throat> this doesn't reflect shots, but it's got a stun chance. That shield damage, though. Oh, man. I will say this is actually my favorite part of this game so far, is being able to look at all the different blades, and um, it, I just think it's cool, man. It makes you want to go and do all this stuff, you know? It's a energy skill part, because it's a consumable part. What do you do? You're a level one body part. But can I pop that off now? Let's see the body part here. Shot count one. This body part here. Look at what it does. It does a lot. Forty-nine credits only. So we're definitely going to be fixing that. And uh, I don't like that it just says consumables, but. A little homing on it and all that, so that's, that's not too shabby. So let's find the workshop. See what I got. A little bing bang. Bing bang boom! As Mr. Seagull would say. We're gonna toss this puppy up here. Give the old finagle. A little waggy daggy, slappy wabby. And uh, pimp our ride. Only our ride is a gun. So I think that is that. Uh, I don't know what happened to my... I'm guessing my buddy was killed. Oops. Well, there is actually a map here. So what I think I'm looking for are these. It's a red unpowered. And I'm looking for the purple skies. Gold roofs are ours. So, like, look at that. That's a. No stations nearby. Okay, red and powered. Uh, red and powered. So, what exactly am I converting here, guys? 
Uh, Dev, am I right that it's these? Am I doing these? What, what is this? I don't know. I'm supposed to be doing those, yes? We're doing like a Weaver La Resistance thing. Alright. We're gonna shoot for one of those. Unless there are. How many bases there? I think that's the one I'm in. Um, unless there are enemy bases there, but. I want to say I feel like I'm in here and all these are gold roots, so I'm good to go here. Um, I believe the X was like the wrong boss thing. And I'm playing with that. When I meet Sega, and I'm playing with it. I know it sucked. Who cares? Laugh anyway. Oh man, I'm finding some just horrible bases here. I need to find a base. It's got the hookup, baby. Give me one of you weird jubbly suckers. Good. So, our guys came a little way, you know, in this let's play. We've gotten from nothing into eh, a, a reasonably decent combat warrior. Not the best. Um, I don't know. Can I have more than one at a time? There's one. Okay. So, starting prestige gets me one. As I go up, I can get more than one. Um... Pretty cool though. You know, no fancy RMD stuff right off the or RMD. Uh, RPG stuff off the bat where all you have to save the Knight of Gavilan in order to work with this. No, you just it's just what you do, man. You just get a guy. Uh, and then they work oh well, these are all seemingly like my people. So that's pretty cool. Um, I will take that. So we're gonna put this here. Separate the three of these. Make them look badass. Blue. You don't know what I'm going with, you like crazy. I'm even leaning a little to see if the right shade of it. There we go. This blue could be bluer, by the way. I have a certain comedy about me with this because I am an American. Uh, and you and I admit we have gone effing gone crazy out of our minds. Out of our minds, man. I, I, sorry, but if you do disagree, let me ask you what you're hunting with an AK-47. What, what animal are you hunting with that? You're not. Don't be an idiot. Yes, our forefathers gave us guns. Ooh. But you're not bear hunting with a fucking M16, are you? Uh, anyways. It's my small piece on it, but look, whatever you do, you do. My only thing is, if you have a mental health condition, just go get help, man. That's all I'm saying. Don't kill or harm other people or endanger them because you got your own stuff going on. Get help. Please. You deserve it. The world deserves it. Uh, let's think smarter, shall we, people? Alright. There we go, baby. Red, white, and blue gun. Best I can get it. As I like to call it, Murica. The gun. 
Alright, we've done this now. Now we need a quest. I am on a friggin' roll, baby. Oh, yeah. And we're just gonna sell that right away. Uh, actually, no, I can sell that. I can sell that. And I can sell that. That's right. The only thing I really need at this point. Oh, I need health. I don't think. Yes. The only thing other than health that I need at this point uh, is a decent mission. Uh, I do apologize. I'm slightly uh, groggy. Slightly tired today. Uh, this code, like I said, man, it was pretty brutal. But I do apologize, guys. I don't really mean to, like, complain about it and all that. To just, man. I'm not used to having a cold that bad. Ever. It just doesn't happen. You know, so. Good lord. It, I mean, it was. It was a beast. Definitely a beast. I mean, even more so is the fact that it. Came out of left field, I thought I was alright. It was like, no you ain't. And it was right. And I was not. Let me do another mission here. Alright, again, so. Plant a bug on Ruby. We vanish one plant a bug on Ruby. Now I gotta say, these were the sorts of missions I found daunting. I didn't like, but uh, I've been digging them. You know, they're not too bad. And I feel a little better. I feel like I got a much better uh, semblance of what's going on. I just keep checking the time here just so I can get a good idea of how how uh, long this is. This very well may be our, let's long, our uh, longest Let's Play ever, but you guys don't care, do you? No. But somebody... Uh, Ask me if I got any series coming up. I've been barraged with guilt about that. Why don't you do a series? You son of a bitch. Everybody does a series. So keep looking out for it. We have picked a game to do a series about. And uh, it's going to be a series. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. You guys like this one enough. I'll keep this going as a series too. Because, I mean, you see it, man. It's a. Pretty easy game to get into. You're gonna die a few times off the bat. That's a given. Um, the controls are pretty smooth, and once you get the hang of them, they're not as overwhelming as you think. And though a lot's going on, the basics are fairly easy to get into. But I'm starting to see what people say when they say you can do a lot, because they're always messing with some of this other stuff, and didn't even realize I could tweak my gun that much better. You know, but I... I there I am. Uh, so there is that as well. Let's make this pretty for people. Let's make it like techno, technologic, baby. What do you say? Some neon. Let's do some neon blue. This reminds me of heavy metal. Give me the Loch Ness. If you're not old enough to watch it, maybe I'm not responsible. Don't 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 be telling your parents that I, you got that idea from me. Get old enough to watch a movie. Some of you aren't going to love it. Not going to lie. Some of you will absolutely adore it. Um, I loved it, man. It was, I think it was brilliant. But, uh, they really don't do a lot of movies like that. Now. It was animated. But it was a movie very much made for adults. That I just thought was brilliant. Um... I don't really know what else to explain it to you. There, there really is no place. I keep looking for like a scope for my arrow, but I don't really know why either. I just want one. Can I afford that? Add this to our gun right now. But see what I mean? Like, that's fun. You can just wander around and know, look at what I can do. Oh god, that reminded me of that, uh, you remember that show, Stuart? Look what I can do. Uh, hi, I think we're gonna go with 
Let's go with some blues on this gun. What do you guys say, eh? Different shades of like blue and green. I think would just look so much better. Let's so leave that blue there. I kept this puppy out here to be like an aqua green. Blues and greens I've always really dug. Um, am I alone in that? The robot said no, but I'm not listening to him. Listen to you all. What do you guys think? Um, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know why. But I just always like different shades of blue. I like green. I do. Um, see, that's a cool looking gun right there. Let's throw some blue up top there. What do you guys say? Yeah, it's a little different. Like a cerulean. Yeah, I want a deep blue again. Deepest to deep. Um, but again, you know, look at this let's play in this short amount of time I have. Climb levels. Successfully done a bunch of missions. Shot some sassy bad guy robots. Made good guy robot friends that are <laughs> equally sassy. Now I'm about to go and deliver with this little robot homie army. Um, oh, and I got a spy on a dude. Yeah, that's going to be good. He can't hear me. Okay, Manto Note. Don't do that with a fellow. Okay. I have a better idea. I don't know what this is. So we're going there. I'm hoping that's not a moon base. If not, then I still don't understand the whole moon base thing, but I'm working on it, guys. One bear with me, it's been one heck of a crazy whirlwind month. Uh, I feel exhausted. Every time I feel like I know what's going on with my day, I don't. So we are definitely going to be doing the best I can with it. I normally share all these two on my Steam. Lately, Steam has been giving me a pain in the butt. I've followed tons of gods to get it going again. It will not link my YouTube account to my Steam. I don't know why. So if any of you know how to fix that, please drop me. Uh, either a, a private message or any message, man. Any message is fine. Just, but, you know, hook a brother up. Let me know what I'm doing. Alright. Uh, am I not looking enough for violet territory? Is that the problem? Is all this violet territory? What am I looking for? Uh, and I'm not frustrated. I'm curious. See, I see all this. I just think all these buildings here are mine. This is violet territory, clearly. So here's what we're gonna do here, guys. Um, I don't want consumables. We're taking the big base. Hey, it's time, baby. It's time. We're going Attica on this shit. Once you were young men. No, you were old men. What do we got for my two hundred parts? Advisor is good. As a programming pilot, I don't have a single visor. I got something. Defense for that parts. Good. Body parts. Stamina. So defense plus six. Uh, these are just defense, so neither guys is good. Let's 
my visor. Hook my visor is hang off the hook, man. I'm just gonna stay with that. What do I got here for these? Guns defense, radiation protection. Uh defense and guns. Guns defense, guns defense. Oh, I don't have any guns. Well, luckily, before I start my Attica, you know, we're gonna sell both these. I'm just not loving it, man. Not finding what I want out of the out of the sword. Uh, prestige, and I'm quite happy with my gun right now. And not the end of this, so I might not even have homies. So our big push in this, guys, our finale for the Let's Play is going to be going forward and wreaking havoc in my robotic enemy. Oh no! Bob! So I got all them. While I'm waiting, let's reread how to use these. Okay, so first I click this. Uh, rewards can work points. First we convert. Double convert. Got it. The good part is it's a big base to be able to convert. The joy is to Don't you worry, homies, I got you. We lost a few good men. Let's see if I can grab a few more here on the way. Can I run? I can, oh I can run. Sparta Or Rob Robata. Damn right y'all well. Alright. Man, that procedure was worth putting in money into. The money. Uh, you get it. Now look, I don't know who's pew pewing at what, but they're keeping stuff off my back while I charge. Like a friggin' marathon runner. So I love it. My vehicle would have probably been better. And I should have probably. Oh, sh nice. Oh, God. Should have. No, don't. Don't, don't you fear. Like a for real large buildings with spiked violet rooftops. You know, those are ready to help convert the plant to be still so we're well, not you can reach points. Taking down great plants to realize those are not points. Alright, fellas. We're going to sneak in like a sneaky beaky. And hit the enemy. Like uh, a sort of strategized Genghis Khan maneuver here. Does tough work in the water. Let's hope so. It does. Although it says detection, so probably not something that great. <laughs> he just broke the fourth wall and discussed his animation. I love it. That is not a good sound, man. I feel like all my guys are going. And if all of them are going by something, that means I'm next. So I don't know what killed them. But it seems yours truly is on a ninjutsu quest alone. Shit. Um. Dev? Could there be maybe a UI to show how long the cell system is working, please? I feel like that would be helpful because I was not prepared to run out that quickly. I suppose not that it's quickly, just I was not prepared to run out but like then at that exact moment. Uh, also, I wouldn't mind some sort of like grappling hook thing. Is that, a, is that an option? An upgrade I can get? 
I mean, like a super jump, you know, you could call it like spring feet or, um, I feel like there's a lot of room, a lot of room for more robot in this game, a lot of room for, for the robot -y goodness of stuff. Well guys, I think I've humped the bunk and I think the only way to do this is to finagle these waters and try and figure out what in the ever-loving hell I'm going to do. I really should have stolen, and I did not, but I should have stolen. Right, we're definitely in dangerous territory now. These are bad guys everywhere. Is that detection accurate, or is that just, I'm in an enemy territory, is that what that is? I don't know, and I need to bust my ass to get the F out of here right now. I feel like so far I'm good. I am petrified. I will say whoever did this game, which is Fruit, his name is Fruit, P-H-R-O-O-T, um, do make sure you click on the page, he's giving contests away to get a copy of his new, his new jam, his new game, uh, on top of it, so get with it, guys, uh, you don't want to miss it, if you guys like this, his next one is like, the next iteration of this, so think of cool, then think of cool times two, because that's what he's offering you. And he's giving you a chance to win it, guys. Um, he's also accepting right now some testers for this, so, you know, get it working, man. You guys can do it, I believe in you. I, on the other hand, have to look for a... Oh, fuck off. Not a fuck off. I need to look for um, one of these towers. If I do die, then I'm gonna have to go back. Yeah, sucker! That was the least sounding, threatening sounding statement I've ever made in my life. So basically, right now, what am I doing? I'm trying to just get up. These damn hills into the oh god, I'm in the city. Ground zero, baby. Ground zero, guys. And watch, this is where it is. So see, what happens is these stealth rings, right? These rings you want. You grab the shit out of them as fast as you can. For that very reason. Now. I know I'm gonna die, but you guys gotta admit, I was even pretty damn in there for a while. But I got another plan, you know. I ain't done yet. And if I keep getting shot in the fucking back, come on, baby. I'll be honest. I had that coming. So. We, my good friends, are going to stop it here. This has been 5089, a game I wanted to do for a while. Congratulations to Fruit on yet another amazing game. So far the pinnacle of his work here. Uh, his new one is set to be even better than this. 
I've not had a chance to look at it. Uh, I'd love to beta test it for them uh, and do some. I've done beta testing for other companies. I can't tell you what I've done for the names because it's called an NDA, non disclosure agreement. And uh, I will give you a word of advice if you guys ever get to beta test. Don't be posting Let's Plays of an unfinished product without the express permission of the developer because they are trusting you to be working on a product without the public size. So yeah. Um, anyways, you like this game and you should buy it at the link below. Highly recommend the game. As you can see, this is like scratching the, the surface. There are tons of things you can do with this. I haven't even got to yet. Um, but anyways, I mean, look at the skill set even, you know. You can really tweak you to be you. Great atmosphere, a lot of great humor. Uh, I have them bones. Down here we have... Come on, baby boy. We have a little boy here. His birthday was Valentine's Day, so happy birthday to you, little boy. He's like, I just want to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to let him sleep. Alright, so... Make sure you subscribe, um, make sure you like, make sure you share this with all your friends. We still have a contest going on, guys. We've got some holo specs. All you got to do is send us a screenshot of how many people you've shared our, our channel with on your social media, whether it be Twitter, Facebook, we'll accept any of it. Um, the one who has done the most gets two free mystery pairs of our holo specs. Um, shift you in the mail that you can enjoy. If you want, we may even throw in some extra goodies, surprises. We're not telling you what. But I think you'll dig them. Alright. Uh, I'm out for now. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.